I'm being posh. I've got individual sachets of Alpen original muesli. Look at that. I have that. With some Icelandic lit milk. Lit milk. Like semi skim milk. Light milk, I guess. It's what you have little little elf things drinking. Quick walk and we're over to the park. It's gone 10 o'clock in the morning already. So about an hour till the sun comes up, I guess. So we just have a little walk just to refresh ourselves. Lovely crisp morning. So I've just read and it's called Clambratun Park. A bit more than this. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. It's you... a bit echoing. Yes, you sound like a henchman. Yes, I am. Hey, it's a nice, nice walk, wasn't it? Nice stroll around the park. Make you feel a bit peckish, don't it? Yeah, you feel a bit nice. peckish? A little snack would be good. A little snack would be good. Maybe don't eat this. All right, so we're going to go out. So we've got to do the old snow removal. It's very powdery, fine snow. I can't actually do a great deal in terms of making a snowball with it to get Alice in here, shook a tree on my head. She oh, get under here, get under here. And I thought, oh, I'm right for a photo. I said, hat off. She said, oh yeah, you take your hat off. And then just shook the bloody tree and covered me in snow. I don't think that's very kind. So I'll plot my revenge. I don't know, it was all it was all fair. It was very fair, but I'll plot the revenge. There we go. Yeah, there is some ice on the inside still. That's taken a while, but it's still about a week quicker than defrosting the Spitfire would be. This is Halgrim's Kyoko. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced, but it's pretty much how it's spelled. Now that's a pretty cool look that is. Axe and sword. Awesome stuff. Well that's good taste of music if you ask me. Better than Bjork any day of the week. So we can go and sit inside there for coffee, aren't we? I need to bring the leaflet. It gives us a, a discount of 65 krona. Look at that sun over there on the hills. So we're in Olive's service station. We've just got two coffees and some cheddar rosti. So cheddar maxi pot popcorn. We've got a view out that window that really we should be outside and join, but we're a bit early for our point. And we've got this, whatever it is, it's red stuff. So Al, would you just pop a little bit of that on my hand? I don't know what it is. Let's have a try. Tomato salt. That's really nice. <laughs> That's gorgeous. That'd be amazing, mm. chips. That will be. Right, cheese flavored popcorn. This is this is a real deal. This is amazing. Isn't it? This is a revelation. This is like what's it flavored yes, popcorn. Yeah. It's amazing. I love it. Look at that, timed that well. Beautiful. Oh, you only want to play with you. <laughs> Absolutely amazing day this is gonna be. Get an Uber, you said. Get an Uber. I said, no, I ain't getting an Uber. I'm getting a Siggy. <laughs> and this, oh, Beechcraft Bonanza. Mark looks like there are any for sale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, then I saw it's called a V-tailed Doctor Killer. Yeah. And I thought, well, I haven't got a doctorate, so no, I'm okay. No, okay. Uh, the Piper Cub there. We are going for a nice little treat. Wow. Look at this proper beautiful. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Gonna give us a smile now from the cockpit. <laughs>
This is quite incredible. So we've just come to get some alcohol and this is just like, this is totally a food court. Now considering the amount that it costs for food, this is just amazing. Everybody's eating everything and it's just like, wow. Where are we going? Ah, toilets, that's what we want. And the day gets better with a Swiss mocha. Yeah, hang on, I was gonna go for it like yesterday. Oh, you would. So we're in an alcohol shop now. You'd have to go in the government shop for alcohol. Holy crap. Cheap wine is 10 quid. We're gonna, I, I fancy a beer you see, so we're gonna have a, have a look, see how much a beer is. I think it's price per bottle, so 389, that's, that's about two quid isn't it? Yeah. Just over two quid for one bottle, one small bottle. So I'm gonna have one small bottle of Viking which I'm going to enjoy. I will take it out of the pack, you see. I like the top, the top is excellent. I think the label's a bit, a bit poor really, but I'm gonna take that out and enjoy that one. Hmm. Oh look, look at a little kayaking dude. What's the percentage on it? Kayak this? Hell Lager, I've got to have that, I've got to have a Kayak Hell Lager. Look, he's a Greenland kayak. Look at that. Greenland kayak, dude, dude is, oh, I'm having that one, I've got to have that one, I've got to have it. So here we go, this is what we normally drink out in our gin and tonics, we get through a litre of Bombay Sapphire quite quick don't we? That's 11,299 credit, how much do you think that is? Well, we normally spend 20 quid. We normally pay 20 quid on offer don't we, because it's normally about 26. 30 pounds? 66 quid. No, no. Yes, 66 no. quid, 66 quid for that. So three bottles we get, 
That's mental. It's mental. I couldn't afford to have a gin and tonic. No, come and look, it's fine. Yeah. I couldn't afford to have a gin and tonic the way I mix it once a week. Two beers, £4.54. Two small beers, £4.54. That's, that's expensive, but we can we can live with that. Well, we've got some. We've got some hocker. It's sharp. Very smelly, the man says. So, what we'll do is we'll open it. We'll have a piece each, Al, and then as a thank you to your parents for looking after Wurzel, because they like fish. No. <laughs> You've got to eat it all. Very nice. You're eating it all. Not necessarily. Well, we can we can use it for dares. <laughs> so it's time for me to try my my Icelandic beer, Viking Viking beer, Viking horn. No, so I'll have it out of a glass. Should have it out of a bottle maybe, but five point six percent. I guess it's a lager. Let's give it a try. That's quite nice. Cheers, everyone. Someone's done a fresh piss. Back out again. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where are we? Very boomy. Do you think? Yeah. I'm bored now. This is fantastic. The, the frost on this tree. The twigs and branches. This is lovely. This is glistening. So we've been out here about an hour. No sign of the Northern Lights. It's, it is a waiting game, a patience thing. What we have seen is one Leonid meteor. So that's really cool. Of course, didn't get that on film or photos. Just not enough chance of that. But this looks amazing. I like that. Okay. I don't think it's going to record on this, but under the plough, which is dead ahead, I can see over the top of the mountain three patches. There we go. There we go, we've done it. Yeah. We've seen the Northern Lights. Yep. You happy now? No. Why? Southern Lights. <laughs> You, Come you, on, you I can't royal. So we've seen the Northern Lights. Um, I'm not bothering again. It's it's a bit like drunken sex. Seems like a good idea. It's absolutely soul destroyed and pointless. Right now, before I fall in a snowdrift because I'm blinding myself, I bid you good night. And guess what? I don't have to go on another another night's Northern Light mystery tour. Ever.